Police officers are expected to be strong, as they are the guardians of our cities. But what happens when some surpass not just the average, but become the epitome of strength and power? Well, in this video, we'll explore 14 of the world's biggest and strongest police officers. Let's start with an extraordinary individual, Thomas Davis. In the world of law enforcement, officers must be strong not just in spirit, but also in body. Among them stands a giant, Thomas Davis, known as TD Smash. This man is not your average police officer. By day, he maintains order at the Elkhart County Jail in Indiana. By night, he transforms into a champion powerlifter, a titan among men in the realm of strength sports. Davis's physique is a testament to his dedication. Weighing over 400 pounds and towering above six feet, he is a force to be reckoned with. His journey to the top was swift and impactful. In 2018, with less experience than his peers, Davis claimed the world title at the IPF Raw Powerlifting World Championships. His record-breaking lift of 718 pounds in the bench press is still talked about today. It's one of the heaviest lifts ever recorded without the aid of a bench shirt. But Davis's feats don't stop there. He has squatted 1,025 pounds and deadlifted 860 pounds, numbers that are beyond the reach of many seasoned powerlifters. His strength is not just for show, it's functional and formidable. On social media, Davis shares his intense training sessions, inspiring many and showcasing the work it takes to remain at the peak of physical power. Next, a figure so imposing that even the mere mention of his name commands respect, Ronnie Coleman. Ronnie Coleman, a giant among men not just in stature but in strength and dedication. His journey is not just one of physical prowess but also of service and protection. Coleman's tale begins in the quiet corridors of academia where he earned a degree in accounting. But his path took a turn towards the call of duty and in 1989, he donned the uniform of a police officer in Arlington, Texas. This was a man who not only served his community, but also pursued his passion for bodybuilding with relentless vigor. His dedication bore fruit in 1998 when he won his first Mr. Olympia title, a feat he would repeat for an unprecedented eight consecutive years. At 5 feet 11 inches tall and weighing up to 330 pounds during the off-season, Coleman was a colossus, a testament to what the human body can achieve. His achievements in bodybuilding are legendary, but it's his strength of character that truly sets him apart. Coleman's work ethic was unmatched, his discipline unyielding. He was a man who could squat and deadlift 800 pounds, a force to be reckoned with, both on stage and in the line of duty. Coleman's legacy is etched not only in the trophies and titles he amassed, but in the hearts of those he inspired, both in and out of the gym. How often do we find such a blend of might and service in one individual? Or perhaps consider this fact. Ronnie Coleman's dual role as a police officer and a bodybuilder challenges the notion of what it means to be strong, redefining strength as a combination of physical power, moral integrity, and community service. Choose the one that fits best into your story. Next, a name that stands tall in the world of strength athletics and law enforcement. Andres Mures. Born in the 1970s, Muretzes began his strongman training in his early 20s and quickly made a name for himself. From 2003 to 2009, he was a force to be reckoned with at major strongman competitions, securing a top five finish at the world's strongest man contest. Mures' physical stats are impressive. He stands six feet two inches tall and weighed about 315 pounds at his peak. His training was specialized, focusing on events like the log press, farmer's walk, and axle clean and press. In the log press, he set a world record by lifting 408 pounds overhead. For the farmer's walk, he carried 2,160 pounds in each hand over a 50-meter course, faster than any other competitor. His personal best in the axle clean and press was 419 pounds, a prof to his incredible grip strength. His strength feats extend beyond competitions. Muritz also holds world records in the Rolling Thunder Grip Challenge and a timber carry medley. After leaving the strongman scene, 
He became a police officer in Estonia in 2011. His strength is not just for show, it gives him an edge in his duties as a police officer where physical confrontations are a part of the job. Criminals think twice before causing trouble, knowing Muretz might be the one to respond. His transition from strongman to police officer is a story of how strength can serve the community in more ways than one. Andres Muretz's journey from strongman to police officer showcases the diverse ways strength can be utilized for the greater good. But what about this 330 pounds candidate, Hugo Gerard? Hugo Gerard's career in law enforcement spanned over 10 years, a period in which he not only served and protected, but also competed in the highest echelons of strength athletics. Gerard's list of achievements is long and distinguished. He dominated the Canadian strongman scene with six consecutive wins at Canada's strongest man competition. His prowess was not limited to his home country. He was a four-time world muscle power champion and seized victory at the Strongman Super Series in 2002. Standing at six feet one inch and weighing about 330 pounds, Gerard was not just another competitor. He was a force to be reckoned with. His size and strength were not just for show. They were tools of his trade, both in competitions and on the beat. Despite never clinching the top spot at the World's Strongest Man contest, he was always a contender, reaching the finals from 1998 to 2004. One of his most memorable moments came in 2001 when he lifted a staggering 765 pounds in the deadlift event at the World's Strongest Man, showcasing strength that seemed almost beyond human. Even after retiring from the competitive scene, Gerard's strength remained legendary. In 2003, he set a world record in the log lift, pressing an axle weighing 410 pounds overhead. Gerard's dual life as a strongman and police officer is a testament to his dedication and discipline. His service as a police officer was marked by the same excellence he displayed in competitions. For 12 years, he was a real-life superhero whose very presence was a deterrent to crime. But do you know about the mightiest police officers who walked the beat? Sergio Oliva. Sergio Oliva, known as the myth, was a figure of immense strength and muscle. In the 1960s, he rose to fame with a physique many saw as perfect. His strength was not just for show, he used it to serve and protect as a Chicago police officer. Born in Cuba, Oliva found his passion for lifting weights early. By his teens, he could lift over 300 pounds. After leaving Cuba, he kept building his body to legendary sizes. He stood five feet, 10 inches tall and weighed nearly 230 pounds of pure muscle. His first big win was the Mr. Universe title in 1963. This was just the start. For years, he was unbeatable in bodybuilding contests. From 1967 to 1969, he won the Mr. Universe title three times in a row. He even beat Arnold Schwarzenegger once, before Arnold became famous. People still say Oliva had the best mix of size, shape, and muscle detail. But he was more than a bodybuilder, he was a humble police officer too, and he showed that being strong was not just about muscles, but also about helping others. Oliva passed away on November 12, 2012, at 71 years old. He left behind a legacy of strength, both in bodybuilding and in his service as a police officer. Now let's look at another strong police officer from Britain, Jeff Capes. Jeff Capes. He was a great athlete in the 1960s and 70s. He threw things far in sports and won many medals. He was also a police constable for over 10 years. Capes is very tall and heavy. He is six feet, five inches tall and weighs about 375 pounds. He won gold medals for Britain and was very good at shot put. He was even called the greatest British field athlete once. Capes also did strongman contests and won three times in Europe. Do you know about this man who was once considered the most formidable law enforcer in India? Dalib Singh. In Punjab, there was an officer who stood out not just for his commitment to the law, but for his extraordinary stature. This officer was none other than Dalip Singh. 
Before he became a global sensation in the wrestling world, Dalip was a towering figure in the police force, serving as an assistant sub-inspector. His height was a staggering 7 feet 1 inch, and he weighed over 350 pounds, making him one of the largest men in India. Dalip's journey with the Punjab police began in 1993. His presence alone was enough to maintain order. Criminals would think twice before committing any act of wrongdoing. His interest in bodybuilding soon became apparent, and he channeled his natural size into becoming a formidable competitor. Winning the Mr. India title in 1995 and 1996, Dalip's physique was unmatched, and he became a legend in the bodybuilding community. Rumors swirled in the gyms of Punjab about Dalip's strength. It was said he could bench press 600 pounds and perform barbell curls with over 200 pounds. His daily life required immense strength, given his size, and he used this to his advantage in every competition he entered. After conquering the bodybuilding scene, Dalip transitioned to professional wrestling in 2000. He took on the persona of the Great Kali, becoming an icon in WWE. Fans may have known him for his wrestling prowess, but his origins as a Punjabi policeman were equally impressive. In the ring, Dalip was unstoppable, using his signature move, the brain chop, to defeat opponents who dared challenge him. At the height of his career, no one in WWE could match the power of this Punjabi legend. But next, let's talk a figure of immense strength and dedication, Johnny Green. Johnny Green, a police officer from Dallas, Texas, is a man of remarkable physical prowess and strength. Born in 1980, Green's journey to build his formidable frame began early. Joining the United States Marine Corps before he was 20, the rigorous training there laid the foundation for his muscular build. Completing his service, he emerged as a giant among men, standing 6 feet 4 inches tall and weighing a solid 350 pounds. Green's size is not just for show, it's perfectly proportioned, making him an intimidating presence. His weightlifting regime focuses on core strength exercises like bench presses, overhead presses, and squats. His capability in these areas is nothing short of extraordinary. Take the bench press, for example. Green can press 600 pounds, equivalent to the weight of an adult male grizzly bear in a single lift. The sheer power required to hoist such weight is astounding. This feat places him in the rarefied 600-pound bench press club, a testament to his exceptional strength. Not stopping there, Green can also perform a seated overhead press with 405 pounds. This exercise demands significant shoulder and arm strength as it's done without the help of leg drive. For context, a 200-pound overhead press is impressive for seasoned weightlifters, yet Green can manage double that amount. Green's social media presence is as commanding as his physical one. He shares his training routines and fitness tips, inspiring a large online following. His massive build and straightforward attitude embody the essence of a tough, no-nonsense law enforcement officer. Next, a police officer who not only serves to protect, but also possesses the strength of a champion. Marku Swanenvierter. Marku's journey began in the world of strongman competitions. He was a key figure in starting Finland's Strongest Man Contest in 1987. Not long after, he won the title, proving his strength was not just for show. He stands six feet tall and carries 280 pounds of muscle. His presence alone commands attention. In 1991, Marku achieved a remarkable feat. He qualified for the final stage of the World's Strongest Man contest. He did not win the top spot, but he secured seventh place. This is the best a Finnish competitor has ever done in this global contest. Marku's strength is legendary. He has lifted 705 pounds in a squat, pressed 464 pounds on a bench, and deadlifted another 705 pounds. These are not just numbers, they are a testament to his world-class power, especially in squats and deadlifts. His strength was not limited to lifting weights. In the world's strongest man competitions, he showed incredible athleticism and endurance. He excelled in events like the Atlas Stones, where competitors lift and move heavy concrete balls. His power and stamina gave him an advantage over others. When Marku retired from professional strongman contests, he chose a life of service. 
he became a police officer in Finland. Criminals would think twice before challenging this former strongman finalist. His legacy inspires many in Finland, especially those in strongman and powerlifting circles. Next, meet Martin Forsmark, not just a law enforcer, but also a titan in the realm of strength sports. Martin Forsmark, hailing from Sweden, Forsmark has made a name for himself not once but twice as Sweden's strongest man in 2018 and 2019. His towering presence at 6 feet 6 inches and a solid 360 pounds is not just for show, it's his ticket to dominating events that test the limits of human strength, like hoisting the Atlas stones and pulling massive trucks. Forsmark's journey to strength wasn't a straight path. He balanced his rigorous strength training with the agility and speed required in ice hockey during his younger days. This blend of sports crafted a unique athlete capable of lifting astonishing weights. And he does it the hard way, conventional style, feet planted firmly beneath him, shunning the easier sumo stance. It's rare to find individuals who can match this Swedish officer's prowess in lifting weights that would send most to their knees. Forsmark isn't just strong, he's a social media sensation, sharing his training secrets with a legion of followers who can't get enough of his feats. His back-to-back -back championships are a testament to his enduring strength and skill. Consistently outperforming many of Europe's finest, Forsmark's name is etched in the annals of strength sports. Next, let's take a look at one standout individual from South Korea, Park Shong-yong. Park Shong-yong, a South Korean police officer, has become a symbol of strength and dedication. His journey to fame began with his passion for bodybuilding. Born in 1990, Park discovered his love for the sport in his late teens. He dedicated himself to the gym, where he sculpted his body into a work of art. His efforts resulted in a well-proportioned physique, complete with diamond-shaped calves, impressive biceps, and a solid six-pack. At 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighing around 180 pounds during competitions, Park may not have the massive size of some bodybuilders, but his presence is no less commanding. His achievements in bodybuilding competitions have earned him a respected place in the ranks, including IFBB Pro status. But Park's influence extends beyond the gym. His role as a police officer has inspired police departments across South Korea to hold bodybuilding contests, encouraging officers to maintain peak physical fitness. Park's fame has spread across Asia, thanks in part to social media, where he showcases the powerful yet well-defined builds of Korean police officers. Family is also a significant part of Park's life. Park's commitment to his physique and his role as a police officer has made him a role model for many aspiring to achieve a balance of strength, duty, and family values. Next, we have a young man in his 20s has already made a name for himself as an incredibly strong correctional officer and a champion in powerlifting, Kyle Curvey. Originating from New Jersey, Kyle discovered his innate strength early on. His high school years saw him shine in football, wrestling, and lacrosse, hinting at his athletic prowess. Post his time with the National Guard, Kyle ventured into competitive powerlifting in 2017. His debut was nothing short of spectacular, securing a win at his local competition. This victory was a clear sign that he was meant for this sport. The following year, he took the powerlifting community by storm by winning the USA Powerlifting Bench Nationals meet. With minimal experience, Kyle lifted an astounding 557 pounds, setting both state and national records. Standing at 6 feet tall and weighing 285 pounds, Kyle's focus remains on enhancing his core strength through squats, bench presses, and deadlifts. At a recent competition, he squatted 804 pounds, bench pressed 606 pounds, and deadlifted another 804 pounds. These figures are not just numbers, they are a testament to his extraordinary capabilities, particularly for someone so young. Balancing his role as a corrections officer, Kyle continues to train rigorously and compete whenever possible. Known as Tiger for his fierce strength and determination, he is well on his way to becoming one of the greatest strength athletes. When we think of police officers, we might not immediately picture them as powerlifters. Yet, there's one officer whose strength is legendary, Hari Sario. 
Hari Sario, a Finnish police officer, stands out not just for his commitment to law enforcement, but also for his remarkable powerlifting records. For over 18 years, Sario has balanced his life between patrolling the streets and dominating the weight room. At 5 feet 10 inches tall and 324 pounds, he's built like a tank, perfectly suited for heavy lifting. His achievements in the gym are nothing short of impressive. His technique, raw power and sheer willpower have helped him avoid serious injuries, a common threat that can end a powerlifter's journey prematurely. But for Sario, these risks haven't deterred him. Instead, they forged him into a stronger person, both physically and mentally. On duty, his strength is an asset. It's not just about the ability to handle physical confrontations, it's about the confidence and presence such power commands. But what about a person who lifts weights heavier than most people can imagine and also serves to protect the public? Derek Poundstone. Derek Poundstone is such a person. Born in 1981, he grew up strong and athletic. He won a powerlifting championship in high school. Then he became a police officer. After that, he returned to lifting and won many contests. Poundstone is very big and strong. He is six feet one inch tall and weighs about 340 pounds. This size helps him lift very heavy things. In 2006, he did well in a big contest. Then from 2008, he did even better. He lifted 914 pounds once and pushed 350 pounds over his head. He won a big contest called the Arnold Strongman Classic twice. He was also the strongest man in America three times. He is still a police sergeant and uses his strength to help in his job. In the end, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Until then, keep scrolling.